happy Victory Monday, Fins fans, former Dolphins cheerleader and Miami sportscaster MJ Acosta here. Today we'll recap yesterday's wild finish that led the Dolphins to their fourth straight win. Highlights and sound from the players all right here on Dolphins Daily. Hey, keep running, keep running. Traveling on the road for the first time since week four, the Dolphins were able to pull off win number five against the San Diego Chargers. It was a back and forth ping pong battle between each team with the game decided in the final minutes. A lot to mention about the performance from the Dolphins offense and defense on Sunday, but first we'll get straight to the game action with the biggest play made on Sunday. Fourth quarter, game tied at 24 with the Chargers in Dolphins territory. QB Phillip Rivers throws to his left and is picked off by linebacker Kiko Alonso, who goes 60 yards, outrunning defenders and into the end zone, helping the Dolphins win the game 31-24. This was Alonso's first touchdown of his career. Here's what he had to say after the game about his heroic play. Yeah, I mean, that's my first touchdown on defense ever, like high school, college. So, you know, I felt good. In addition to Alonzo's key moment, the Dolphins defense stepped up when needed multiple times. Miami had four interceptions all in the fourth quarter, including two made by cornerback Tony Lippett, which were the first two of his career. Lippett also led the team in tackles with seven. Miami found their way into San Diego's backfield as they came away with three total sacks, two made by defensive end Cameron Wake, who now has 77 total for his career. On offense, the Dolphins were led by quarterback Ryan Tannehill, who recorded one of his best games. Tannehill finished 17 of 24 for 240 yards, two TDs, and a 130.6 QB rating. He was able to find success throwing deep as he connected with Kenny Stills, the local kid from San Diego, on a 39-yard touchdown, and Devontae Parker for a big 56-yard gain late in the fourth. Let's hear what Tannehill had to say after the game. The way we played uh, as a team in the second half, you know, just kept battling, kept fighting, uh, got ourselves back in the game, and then the defense came up huge right there at the end. So um, a, lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of belief, and uh, we're headed in the right direction. So uh, we just got to keep riding the wave. A few notable stat lines. Wide receiver Devontae Parker finished with five receptions for 103 yards, his third 100-plus yard game of his career. Running back Jay Ajayi finished with 19 carries for 79 yards, and Damian Williams contributed to Sunday's win with a two-yard rushing TD and an 18-yard receiving touchdown. With Sunday's victory, the Dolphins have won four games in a row, which is their longest win streak since 2008. Head coach Adam Gase is now the fourth in Dolphins history to accomplish this in his first year as a head coach. At 5-4 and four and second in the AFC East Division, Miami will turn its attention to another West Coast team in Week 11 when they take on the Los Angeles Rams. Beautiful weather here in San Diego as the Dolphins head up the coast just a little bit to L.A., but that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for having me, and we'll see you tomorrow with more Dolphins news and updates.